What's up guys, welcome to Film Trash. Today is time for another monthly movie haul. So today I'll be showing you guys all the movies that I picked up during the month of October. Now, I already did a video for the October Horror Pack unboxing. If you wanna see that video, you can check it out at the link above. Otherwise, I will just jump right into the October Horror Pack. So the first one we had was a triple feature, which has Scar, Terror Trap, and Midnight Movie. And as you can see, I haven't opened this. I'm not putting it into my collection. I'm just setting it aside for now. Uh, we also got Y, the Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. Psycho Gorman, which I still haven't gotten around to watching, but I'm hoping to check it out soon. And Night Stalker. Again, I'm not really going to talk about these movies too much. Um, like I said, I already did a video with the unboxing where I talked about each one and read what they were about. So, um, All right, next up we have another addition to the Vestron Video Collector series. This movie I haven't seen, and I don't know that it's really my type of movie, but uh, I thought I'd pick it up anyways because it's Vestron. It's Steel Dawn, starring Patrick Swayze. I really don't know much about it. It just kind of looks like an 80s action film or something, and it's Patrick Swayze, so not necessarily my kind of movie, but. All right, next up we've got Scream, the 4K Steelbook. Absolutely love this movie. Not a big fan of any of the sequels of it, to be honest. Um, I know some people say that the, some of the sequels are pretty good, but I didn't really care for any of them. The original's great, though. Alright, next up we've got <clears throat> Apocalypse Now, the Final Cut 4K Steelbook. This one I covered in my Steelbook collection video. Uh, very cool Steelbook, very cool slipcover. Great movie. I own three copies of it, so obviously I really enjoyed the movie. Alright, next up we've got Free Guy, starring Ryan Reynolds. Haven't gotten to watch this one yet. Uh, looks looks like fun. Uh, probably something I'll watch with my kids. I think they would enjoy it. So. And next up we've got The Green Knight. I went and saw this one in theaters. Unfortunately I was pretty tired that night so I, I did, actually did uh, doze off a couple times during the movie. But uh, I thought it was a really good movie. I plan on watching it again soon and not falling asleep hopefully this time. Um, but yeah, it, it, good movie. Uh, from A24, and I love A24, so. Alright, next up we've got Inglorious Bastards, the 4K Steelbook. I don't remember if this one just came out, or if it's been out for a while and they happen to get more in, I don't remember exactly, but I, I love this movie. Um, not the biggest Tarantino fan usually, but this is probably one of my favorites. And uh, so I decided to go ahead and pick up the 4K. I had the movie already on Blu-ray, didn't have a Steelbook, didn't have the 4K, so decided I might as well go ahead and pick up the steelbook. Alright, next up we've got uh, this movie I watched on Shudder and it is absolutely one of the craziest movies I've ever seen. Super fun, super entertaining, I highly recommend checking out. It's Fried Berry. Uh, like I said, just absolutely crazy. Uh, so I'm actually going to read it to you guys in case you're wondering what it's about. Barry is a drug-addled degenerate who, after yet another bender, gets abducted by aliens. Barry takes a back seat as his alien visitor assumes control of his body and takes it for a joyride through Cape Town. What follows is an onslaught of drugs, sex, and violence, as Barry's alien tourist enters the weird and wonderful world of humankind. Fried Barry is like having an acid trip during an out-of-body experience. It's surreal, wild, exciting, disturbing, and ultimately a must-see. And yeah, I, I absolutely agree. It is definitely a must-see. And like I said, I watched it on Shudder. As far as I know, it's still on there. Uh, it says it's a Shudder original, so I'm sure it's still on there. If you've got Shudder, I highly recommend checking it out. If you don't have Shudder, I'm pretty sure they have a free trial. So yeah, definitely check it out. Alright. Next up we've got another great steelbook, American Psycho 4K. Another great film that I really enjoy that I have now two copies of. And I love this slipcover. I know I mentioned it in the steelbook video that I did recently. Uh, it's very cool and you can really have a lot of fun with the uh, slipcover as well. Uh, 
I'll show you a couple of examples that I had fun messing around with. So you can actually take the slip cover off and put it onto other movies and it uh, creates some interesting effects like uh, Edward Scissorhands. That was an interesting one. But I, I think my favorite that I found out about and a lot of people on Reddit seemed to think it was funny and really enjoyed it. It actually works pretty well with Tommy Wiseau in the room. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just kind of fun, goofy stuff you can do with the slipcover. But that leads me to the last thing I picked up. Certainly not the least. This is a really cool addition that I picked up from A24 themselves. Uh, it is the last black man in San Francisco. It's a big 4K set. You can see how big this is compared to a normal Blu-ray. So, very, very cool. Um, I actually haven't even gotten around to watching it yet, but it, uh, it's cool. It's got this sort of like a, almost like a book that slides out. It's right at the back as well when you have the book inside. So, very cool. And then uh, you open this up and it's got uh, the movie, obviously, but then also um, a bunch of stuff uh, from the movie itself. Um, yeah, essays and um, yeah, very cool stuff. Some artwork from it. Uh, this is actually very similar to the one that they put out for uh, Midsummer, uh, which I also have and is very cool. Um, I'm hoping they do more of these for more of their movies in the future. Uh, I don't know which one they would probably do next. Uh, I wasn't really expecting them to do one of The Last Black Man in San Francisco because it's not one of their more well-known films. Um, I would have expected, you know, Hereditary or The Witch or maybe The Lighthouse, which I think The Lighthouse doesn't get enough love. But um, yeah, I, I don't really care what movie they choose. I just want more of these because I think they're really cool. So um, yeah, that does it for all the movies that I picked up during the month of October. Not a really big month. November is also probably not going to be a super big month. There are some good movies coming out. And then of course there's the Barnes & Noble Criterion sale going on. And I will definitely be doing a Criterion sale haul video a little bit later this month. I didn't want to do one right away because there are a couple of movies coming out that aren't coming out until later on in November and I wanted to make sure that I was able to go and pick those up when I go and do my Criterion sale haul. So I didn't want to have to go and do two of them for no reason. I figured I would just wait and do one sale haul. Uh, unlike last time, I, in July I did two of them. But it's just going to be one. I've already got a list going of movies that I would definitely like to pick up. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.